And for me, I immediately fell in love with albatrosses. 22 species in total, three of them found in the North Pacific, one found in the Galapagos, and the rest of them found here in the Southern Hemisphere. And it's the world's stormiest, savage, most brutal, and most unforgiving ocean. You had a little taste of that a few days ago when even this huge ship was rocking and rolling in 100 kilometer hour winds. The roaring 40s, the furious 50s, and the screaming 60s. It is the roughest, stormiest ocean in the world. And to survive down here, the seabirds, albatrosses in particular, have to be very, very good at navigation. And they also have to be the consummate masters of aerodynamics to exist over these stormy, wind-driven oceans. on the eye. Can you show it to me on the video? There, there's the bird right there. Just get your picture right there. It is. You don't give it a nap. Shit, eh? Hey? That's beautiful. Hold on. Swipe like that. The light band of the blue one. Yeah. So come with me now to that world of the albatross. Let's start asking ourselves some real questions. How many species of albatross are there? Where do we find them? How long do they live? How far can they fly? How many eggs do they lay? You have to go back to 14, sorry, to 1642, and the diaries of one John Fryer, rounding the Cape of Good Hope, he speaks eloquently about these huge black and white birds that followed the ship without so much of a beat of their wings for hour after hour after hour. We're getting closer to Prince Edward Island. A lot, of, a lot of visitors coming along and uh, the wind is intensifying um, a few people have abandoned you'll see there's a lot less people and the gear is a lot more weather appropriate <laughs> and uh, the camera is shaky It's getting very exciting. Look at him, look at him, isn't he gorgeous? Hey baby, hello. The largest of them all, no prizes for this one, is the wandering albatross. Believe it or not, that bird could weigh 25 pounds in weight. It has a wingspan of about 12 or so feet and it's a really, really huge, huge bird.
Oh, there you can feel the actual swell now, eh? It's a base as well. We we'll so always cool. compress in front of the rain. We we'll always do that. And then on the other side of the rain, it's flat again. I'm going to get prepared because it's going to come and slam us. So having stated that we have 22 species of albatross, how can we really be sure that they are albatrosses? There are 10,500 roughly species of birds in the world, and 22 of them are albatrosses. And those 22 have some unique things about them. And one of the most unique things about our albatrosses is that they go to sea and they have tubular nostrils. Out of 10,500 species of birds, folks, only albatrosses have divided nostrils. Oh, I'm not high. No, I'm not high. Yeah, what are they? They are... They are... Uh, macaroni by the looks of it. Oh, yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, they, they fall. 
And once they've swallowed that, they face the wind, they run across the surface of the water, and they become airborne. It really is as simple as that. of the bird world. 